hey guys welcome back to my channel so before i start with my um haul going on here um i do want to put out some points now this is actually the first time in my life that i had purchased this amount of makeup in a cell like this um i go really crazy when it comes to clothes but to makeup like um I don't really find um, sales in Sephora. I had never find sales the whole year in Sephora. This is the first time that I um, actually, well, I heard about it before, but it's the first time I was involved in one. So, with that being said, um, I am going to do my Sephora VIB haul um, for 2015. It's pretty big. I also did purchases in store, so I will be going over that once I'm done with the whole box. So, um, besides that, I do want to like just go ahead and apologize to you guys for not putting up videos for the lack of videos, and um, I will be more up to date now. Now that I have reorganized myself um i'm actually pretty happy to come back to filming because i really miss filming that was the one thing that will always get get me upset but without any further ado let's get to and it in the box you see it comes like this so it comes with your receipt and your items as you can see you can see a lot of things in here <laughs> so I'll start off with palettes. I'm not going to do swatches for you guys. I was thinking about it, but the, the video is going to go for like 45 minutes. So I'm like, I'm just going to show it to you. And if you would like to see like a review about it and swatches about it, I would definitely do it for you in the near future. Just comment down below. You already know. All right. So the first thing I'm going to go is over um, the Too Faced Coco Contour Chisel to Perfection Contouring and Highlighting Kit. I decided to get this one because... I swatched it in Sephora when I was making my list of what are the things that I wanted to get for the 20% off. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to give this one a try because I really, really like how it left my face. It's not the one that I'm wearing on today. This is like a Milani bronzer going on here. But um, this one, however, it comes like this. And it brings... Um, a little booklet of like of how to contour your face now in this palette it comes with um, four shades which is light cocoa medium cocoa dark cocoa and pop of light and then it also brings a um, contour kabuki brush which I don't think I'm gonna use because like I said I like little things like little um, little packaging so it looks like this and like I said I don't want to use this because it looks so pretty so small and like the bristles of the brush is so soft like I feel like I'm gonna keep this next to my Marc Jacobs lipstick just like that um this is the mirror as you can see um say hello to my flowers um it's pretty nice um and these are the four shades I'm gonna give you an up close look if you would like to see swatches on this contouring brush or like a review about it then I'll definitely do it for you guys but um yeah I don't want to get more into details because I might be doing a review on this so I'll leave this on the side next thing I'm gonna go is over the Tarlette Charlotte Amazonian Clay Matte Palette. I've been dying to get my hands on this one, but I wasn't sure if I was going to like it. I'm a pretty huge fan of matte eyeshadows, like a really huge fan of them. So I was like, you know what? Just just get it, girl. Just get it. Because it's 20% off. So every time I was like doubting myself, I would always say, girl, just get it. 20% off. 20% off. You will not get that in until next year. <laughs> so, um, I will always give myself that excuse. So, the packaging looks like this. The same as the palette. Gold in the back. And the purple in the front. And then, the inside is beautiful. Like, literally beautiful. I fell in love with the packaging, literally. Um, this is how it looks. Again, say hello to my flowers going on here. Um, 
I'm gonna like okay so and then right here these are the shades like I said I'm not gonna be doing a review on like I'm not gonna give you swatches just so um, you guys so I could do a review on it and tell you what I think about it and if they're very blendable I heard they're really really good so I am so excited to try these baby out so this is a toilet next we're gonna go for the ooh this is the one that I've been dying to get and I was like I don't know if I should get it I don't know I don't know I don't know I don't know so um I did not get the the brush it's too expensive but I'll probably in the future I might get it this is the shade and light eye contouring palette so it looks like this it brings all these so it comes like quads three quads I'm gonna open it for you guys because I'm pretty excited myself so what I like about it is that it has them in the back so you could literally just like again if you've seen the contouring brush then it's the same as the mirror um, but it looks like these look how beautiful they are like I wish I could give you swatches I really really wish I could give you swatches on these but um, like I said my video is gonna go longer than it is or it has to be if I give you swatches on everything so if you want to see a review on this palette swatches and a um, makeup tutorial on this then let me know down below you already know the drill so I am happy and I love the packaging. Next thing I'm going to go is with the Smashbox Double Exposure. I wanted to get this one because I do have the first one and I like the first one. And it also comes with a mascara right here. The, the full exposure mascara. Um, But this is how the palette looks. So it brings this inside as well. The mirror is behind it. Like I said, it's just... A regular mirror it comes with a brush and this is how the colors look so it's a mixture of four matte colors and then the rest is like shimmery or like you know I want to give you I really want to give you swatches about um I want to give you swatches on these but like I said I'm gonna actually be doing a review on everything and what are my thoughts or like even do a tutorial on them so I'll be giving you updates based on the palette, but this is another one that I bought. Um, okay, so now we're going to go with foundation. Um, I bought two foundations, and this is a backlight priming filter. <sighs> you guys... I this this was like something I was dying to get, but these two, uh, especially this one, I wasn't gonna pay full price for it. It's expensive. It's fifty bucks. So um, my shade is in Syracuse, and it looks like those. Oh my god, I love the packaging. It's very sleek. So it comes like this. It's very like high-end it feels high-end I, do, I don't know I just really like it. it comes with this pump so this is my color it might look really light on camera but it's my color like I could see it's like pretty dark um, another one is this Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundation it's a 24-hour wear which caught my attention and um, I was debating whether to get it or not so definitely decided to get it now I love its packaging Kat Von D always goes out on her packaging and especially her formulas like even the inside it's really good so this is how it looks and I was dying to really try this one out um, it looks so me <laughs> I don't know I, I like the whole rosy thing going on black it's like it's all like meant to be for me so um 
I'm definitely happy to try this out. Yeah, this one, I bought it in medium 53. I'm a medium 57 or 56. Like, because they had it out of stock at the Sephora website, I had to get something closer to my color. So, I think this is close enough to my color. Next thing I got was this backlight priming filter. I'm sorry, guys. I'm almost done. I promise you. So, um... I heard so many people rave about this that I was like, I need to get it. A lot of people talking about it. I have to get it. So this is how it looks. Which, wow, I love its packaging. So this is a primer. This is a, a priming filter. So you put this before you put the um your foundation. It has to like it gives you that luminous um glow to your face. I love its packaging. I mean I hear people raving about this a lot, so I'm, I had to get it. I had to get it, <laughs> especially Becca. Becca's a really good company, so um, I am really excited. I will definitely be giving you reviews based on how I feel on these, so look out for that. Like I said, I have tons of video coming, coming up, so I'm pretty excited. All right, another thing that I um, decided to get was um a concealer this is the nars radiant creamy concealer and this is in the shade custard everybody raves about this concealer it's so so creamy it's so full coverage that i need that like Especially now because my bags are really bad. You can't tell because of the makeup that I'm not wearing. But if I take my makeup off, like, you'll see my bags. And they look horrible. Um, this is how it looks. Um, I will also keep you updated on these. Of how I feel about it. If I feel like I don't like it, definitely going to be returning it. And trading it for, like, something else. So, yeah. I'm almost done. I have a few more things to go, like four more things. Um, this is the Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder. I hear people raving about this. Like, you don't know how much. Even their grandmas are raving about it. Um, this is a translucent powder. But, do you see this? I love the packaging. I always say I love the packaging. I love all the packaging. They're all cute. Um, I love... I mean, I've tried it before. It looks really, 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 really good. It looks like this. I'm surprised it doesn't come with, like, you know, those little things. It just comes like this. Okay, so, um, I am pretty excited to use this. But this one caught my eye because a lot of people are raving about it. This one, everybody's talking about it, like, how awesome it is and how, it, like, it does increase under your eyes and how it, like, leaves your, um, your when you bake it looks very 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 nice so i'm like i have to get this it's like calling me like it's oh come get me come get me so i just wanted to go ahead and give this bad boy a try i'm i know for sure i'm gonna be loving this i promise you i am almost done like i said it's it's not a, quite a lot it's just something quick so when i went inside the store they gave me a tote bag so I'm pretty happy. I, I see a lot of people wear, like, I see a lot of people with this bag. I'm telling you. Pretty good. Um, I decided to get the lights of the party. This is actually a limited edition. Tarte always comes out with great, great quality. And, like, they put their effort. Like, I could see that they put a lot of effort and time for their holiday collection. So this is a holidays, holidays, holidays. That's what it's called. It looks like this. Ooh, it looks so pretty. It looks so pretty. I want to get the blush palette and the brushes, but when I went to try and see if they had it in stock, didn't have it anymore. So um, I'll just, I guess I'll keep this one. I'll keep looking for the other ones, but definitely excited that I got this one. Um, this is how it looks. And I'm telling you, this is totally worth it. Like, if you want, you should go get your hands on it because it's worth it. Like, literally, it's worth it. So, it comes with 24 um, eyeshadows, which are mattes mixed with shimmers and all of that. And it comes with my favorite um, mascara, which is the Lights 
Camera Lashes from Tarte, and then a brush, double-sided brush, which is a blending brush and a more precise brush. And then the one thing I really love is this one. Like, this one is uh, more of a to-go palette. It comes with its mirror. I'm not going to lie. That's its mirror. And, um, ooh, I'm telling you, I hate those little, like, plastic things. Look at that amazing it comes with a bronzer a blush a highlight and six more shadows so this one is mostly like this is so me right here like i see myself wearing all of this and what i like about it is that it's travel size come on who doesn't love that like i said this is totally worth it if you want you like if it's still on stock to end your near support you should go ahead and um purchase this and give it as a gift or give it to yourself as a gift because all of us deserve a gift once in a while. So this is my own gift. I purchased this one and I love it. I love this baby. I actually tried it already. So I feel bad about it because I tried it already. But yeah, I really, really love this one. Um, next thing I got was the... um curling the eyelash curler look at this look at this wow can like the packaging is amazing this was the last one literally the last one i decided to get it because i last last year i got the um the eyelash curler full um full price i wasn't like i said i wasn't a vab um anytime soon at that time so I got the pearl ones, but I'm excited because I got this one now. So the same thing for the eyelash is the same one as the other one. But this one is called T Lights, Camera, Flashes. And the other one is Lashes. So I don't know if, if it's different from the other. So I will see on that one. But yeah, that's the other one that I bought. Then, then the other last thing that I did buy. This one is the Makeup Raw Sauce Hydration Nourishing Essence. So, um, this is a Korean um, moisturizer. I heard, I heard people talking about this. Korean is known for their skincare, like good quality skincare. So this is how it looks. Ooh, it looks very. It feels expensive, but this was literally fourteen bucks. And it looks like this. It's a Acer Maple Water. So this is organic. I am so excited to start using this, actually. Um, after cleaning your face and toning, apply this onto your face with a generous amount up to your neck going upwards. And then downwards with your fingertips. So I will keep you guys updated on this. I'm pretty excited. Um, I just... Got it. I took it because I'm like, oh, it, it says it's Korean. It's like $14 cheap. <laughs> and it's a hydration. So, you know, wanted to give this one a try too. But besides that, it's pretty much it. My haul, it's, it's a lot. And um, I won't be doing any hauls in the near future. <laughs> if you guys really enjoyed it, um, I'll keep you updated with my foundation to like um eyeshadows i'll give you tutorials and i'll keep you updated on the makeup um raw sauce too so i'm definitely excited to give these bad boys a try i hope you guys really enjoyed it and i'll see you to the next time